I would like to start by saying that one of the, one of the key points is proactive management of side effects when using sorafenib. Let's start with going through a list of the more common side effects. These include hypertension, rash, the hand-foot skin reaction, diarrhea, and a little bit less frequently, anorexia and occasional uh, nausea and fatigue. In regards to diarrhea, it's very critical that patients are educated proactively regarding the management of diarrhea, including the introduction of uh, medical therapy for, that, for the management of diarrhea as soon as the diarrhea hits grade two, uh, as well as alterations in the diet. As far as the rash, patients need to be, need to be aware of its potential uh, and <coughs> excuse me, topical therapies can be used in that, uh, for that management. In regards to the hand foot skin reaction, there are also urea based creams that are used traditionally to manage these toxicities. Uh, so those should be employed proactively as soon as there are hints of, of a hand foot skin reaction uh, beginning. Uh, it is also important to note that these blisters tend to happen mostly in areas of dead skin. So a visit to a podiatrist could be very helpful for patients when they're initiating therapy on, on sorafenib. As far as uh, hypertension, this should be monitored after the initiation of, of uh, sorafenib therapy and anti-hypertensive medications can be adjusted or added as needed. Of note, again, is that the, most of the side effects related to sorafenib tend to occur within the first two to six weeks after initiation of therapy. So the proactive monitoring of patients during that initial, initial period is very important.